Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and today we're over here at the Maze Bank offices because I intend to purchase myself a vehicle, don't you know? Okay, so let's go on side then shall we okay here we are now ladies and gentlemen in the offices you know uh, let's head on inside oh i must warn you though ladies and gentlemen don't speak to my secretary she used to work the makeup counter at a department store she'll just spray you in the eyes with perfume don't you know sort of uses it like mace you know but there we go anyway ladies and gentlemen we're not here today to berate my secretary we're here to purchase the vapid dominator gtx okay now the Vapid Dominator GTX can be found under the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. And it was released some time ago, so it's sort of coming in halfway down the page there, ladies and gentlemen, and generally retailing for a price of $725,000. Okay, now I'm getting it on discount. The only reason why I'm going and purchasing it, you know, adding it to my, uh, my Vapid collection, I had no intention of making a Vapid collection, but there we go. Okay, our special offer, can't really say no. Can we? Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to send it on up to the Hillcrest residence, and uh, uh, we're heading on out the door, as you can see, which is rather unusual, because on this occasion, uh, we're going to get there in the Batmobile, don't you know? Actually, I thought we were, no, it looks like we're going this route. How about that? Mr. Raccoon's waiting for me. Well, hello, Mr. Raccoon, and he's decided to go and show me up by bringing his own Vapid Dominator out, just to humiliate me. Well, thank you, Mr. Raccoon, it's very kind of you. Yes, he's already gone and purchased himself one of these vehicles a good long time ago, don't you know? He does rather like it, you know? He's taken by the muscle cars and so uh whoops it is okay right well what song did he need for that now was the mr raccoon okay well never mind you know people do have to die okay well here we are ladies and gentlemen arriving uh, arriving at the hillcrest in the vapid dominated gt uh, x uh, so i suppose no surprise what we're going to see now is it? okay well either way ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on inside you know and take a quick look Okay, so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, the Vapid Dominator GTX. Okay, got no idea what this is supposed to be based on, you know, maybe some kind of a, uh, what, Mustang, maybe? I've got absolutely no idea. Sheer, sheer guesswork, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, it's an American muscle car, which means it's going to be absolutely hideous, in my opinion. You know, the Americans do do very much, uh, very well, you know, but in my opinion, cars are not one of them, I have to say. Uh, terrible shame, I know, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's something to do with the long straight roads, I think. Don't need uh, to consider cornering and handling so much. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and whoops, how about that? Mr. Raccoon really is getting lively this evening, isn't he? Sort of leaping over cars and all sorts of things. Okay, so what do we think of the, of the look of the car, ladies and gentlemen? It's sort of plain saloon style car. We're going to check out the handling, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, acceleration, not too great. Okay, uh, we're at acceleration. Yes, not too Whoops, it is. Sorry about that, Mr. Raccoon. Uh, handling, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Mr. Raccoon was having a hard time with it there, and he's going to go in front because he's going to, uh, he's the more proficient driver, and uh, if he goes behind, whoops, it is. Okay, there we go. Never mind again, Mr. Raccoon. Okay, well, now, okay, okay, now he's going backwards. What on earth are you doing, you blasted Raccoon? Okay, okay, we're just going to take off, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops, uh, we've missed out the entire hill and the bottom left uh, right hand corner there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I had no intention of doing that. Camera cut out, and there we go. Mr. Raccoon's going to pass me. Okay, so either way, Lindsay, we'll get a look at the air. We'll get a look at the acceleration now, as you can see. Yes, it's not there, is it? I mean, okay, we're getting up some speed now. I'm trying to get the back end to kick out, and yes, that's not going to be any problem whatsoever. It really is very unstable, it's sort of like driving on ice, don't you know? Okay, so uh, handling very poor, ladies and gentlemen. Stability very poor, acceleration very poor, top end speed. Uh, we're taking a uh, uh, look now, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, yes, very poor. Okay, and my driving, ladies and gentlemen very poor okay well never mind right ladies and gentlemen we've got the bottom uh, left hand corner here then we're going to take it on to the custom auto shop and uh, complete the necessary upgrades uh, take it back out and see how she handles then okay trying to slide it around the corner and really did not have a good time with that okay right uh, then, 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 never mind never mind whoops whoa jesus christ mr raccoon what on, what on god's earth happened there Okay, I think we'll take another look at that, shall we? Sodding clips the corner, and Jesus Christ, that's how unstable the GTX is, don't you know, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely shocking.
Okay, well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take it on into the custom auto shop now. Uh, and we're going to go in there, go ahead and perform the necessary upgrades to this vehicle, don't you know? Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're inside the custom auto shop. And, uh, and as usual, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go through this stage of the video at double speed, you know, in order just to uh, hurry things along somewhat. Uh, but uh, still give you an idea of uh, the different modifications and, uh, and upgrades that can be affected to this vehicle should you choose to go ahead and purchase it. Okay then, uh, and uh, well, what can we say ladies and gentlemen about the Vapid Dominator? Uh, $725,000, uh, was it? I do believe something like that. Uh, that's the same price as the Zen Porno, ladies and gentlemen. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you can pretty much guess my uh, uh, my summary of this particular vehicle. You know, if you're going to go spend $725,000 uh, on the uh, the Vapid Dominator GTX, why not go buy a Pegasi Zen Porno, for God's sake? That would be my question, you know. Twice the car, twice the car, absolutely, you know. Uh, but there we go, you know, some people do like these muscle cars, Mr. Raccoon is one of them, you know, he is rather obsessed by them, I, uh, I, I personally don't see the attraction myself, you know, but then again, I'm not much of a slider, a drifter, you know, I do sort of prefer those cars to, uh, to, uh, to grip the corners and whatnot. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people uh, do like muscle cars, and, uh, and therefore Rockstar have gone and put them in the game. Okay, and so that, you know, being, being that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people do like muscle cars. Uh, well, what can we say about this one? Well, you know, I'd be sort of ignoring the fact that it, it under, com uh, underperforms compared to sort of any uh, regular sports car or uh, supercar, you know, and costs the same sort of money. And we'll just uh, we'll just ignore the fact that you're blatantly getting ripped off the moment you buy it, uh, and just consider it in terms of a pure muscle car, ladies and gentlemen. That is to uh, imagine the technology hasn't developed beyond the 1970s. Okay then, so what do we think of in those regards? Uh, not too bad, really, I suppose, you know, for a muscle car, you know, it's sort of, hey, I mean, it's got a suburban look, hasn't it? It's got a saloon look, but again, it's kind of, kind of aggressive, you know, it's got sort of a menacing, sort of roided up uh, look to it, you know, so it's sort of quite impressive in that regard. I do quite like the lines on it, you know, it is quite suburban looking, as I say, and uh, that looks awful, I think I'll keep that. Yes, uh, so I, I don't mind that much mind the lines on it really uh, the acceleration like I say was lacking top end speed you know not too good and handling we are, you know I can't like ladies and gentlemen it's sodding awful okay ladies and gentlemen we've gone ahead and done the upgrade uh, we're going to take it all out now onto the street once more and uh, see how she performs uh, uh, with uh, when she's been upgraded okay that's what we're doing we're creeping out of the garage now and I've got no idea why that took so long okay and uh, we're probably going to find there we go yes hello Mr. Raccoon how are you he has been sort of waiting for this you know he is a big fan as I say of the muscle cars and the GA and the, uh, the Vapid Dominator, uh, and so he wants to have a quick race. I uh, feel why not oblige him, you know? Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, two Vapid Dominators, you know, one driven by an absolutely shocking driver, one driven by a raccoon. Okay, so uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is the standard lap, but we've thrown a bit more uh, zest into it on this occasion, you know? Okay, and uh, I think the grenade's gone out, there we go, and um, we're off. Okay, then here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Vapid Dominator GTX. So let's give it a review. Uh, now it's been fully upgraded. What do we think? Acceleration still lacking, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's be perfectly honest. You know, it didn't. It did take rather a long time to get up that hill. Okay, so we get a chance to have a look at uh, initially at the top end speed as we're coming down here. And yes, I mean it's moving, but again, ladies and gentlemen, it's not moving exactly fast, is it? In my opinion. Okay, first real test of the handling now in this bottom right hand corner. And okay, well, okay, I sort of bumped into Mr. Raccoon there, but uh, yeah, I've got to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a lot cars do a lot worse than that, you know. Uh, so you know, and that's been upgraded and whatnot. I mean, it has got bad handling, ladies and gentlemen, but, but not the worst handling on the game by any stretch of the imagination. Much like like uh, many of these drift cars, ladies and gentlemen, or these, these muscle cars, you can sort of slide them out and regain control of it if you're uh, an accomplished driver, which I am not. I tend to round into red cars. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we sort of brought it around. Okay, what, what sort of hell's going on here? I've got no idea. The camera seems to have cut around, and Mr. Raccoon seems to have gone from in front of me to behind me, and I really have no idea because that, that is not, that is not a two separate laps spliced together, I can assure you. I'm rather confused. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Vapid Dominator GTX in sort of blue and a different blue, you know? Whoops, it has got a car there. It looks like we're doing another lap, doesn't it? Okay, sort of gone out of control tonight, hasn't it, really? Oh, well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're going on a second lap. It would seem i got no idea why. Going around the back end, uh, the top corner there, Mr. Raccoon trying to knock my back end out. Rather, rather naughty of him, you know? But he is a, he is a raccoon, so you've got to 
don't expect that sort of thing. Okay, so here we go. Uh, top speed, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it is moving. Uh, not particularly great. Let's see if we can make a better hash of this corner. No, we can't really. Okay, slamming into the side of him there. Sort of uh, really was my fault. Okay, uh, we're trying to get across, and now I'm trying to sort of. Uh, well, I was in danger of sort of uh, fishtailing him there, wasn't I? Okay, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two rapid dominators fly. Whoops, it is. Where did he go? Right, well, two. There were two rapid dominators flying down uh, the San Andreas streets there, rather. San Andreas, the Los Santos streets there, rather nice to see. Okie Koki, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think we've uh, we've done enough standard. Whoops, sorry, tree. Right, okay, typical. Okay, where's Mr. Raccoon? There he is. Okay, well, well, it looks like he's off to the track already, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to go and follow him, and uh, yes, here we are. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the Vapid Dominator GTX. We'll get a look at it in the daylight, you know, up at the track here. Yeah, like I say, it does look rather, uh, rather fine, really. I mean, not sort of my style of car, but I, I don't object to it, you know, maybe like that kind of thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the uh, this is the Gauntlet Classic, don't you know? This is the Bravado Gauntlet Classic. It is a muscle car, uh, and uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a, it is a classic muscle car. So it's not really in the sort of same uh, the same time period as uh, as the Vapid Dominator. Whoops, sorry, hell, right? I went God, I have absolutely atrocious corner there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can I really apologise? But even with that atrocious corner, yes, that uh, that Gauntlet's not going to come past me now, is it? Okay, uh, I don't know the price of the Gauntlet there, terribly sorry about that, I believe it's something along the lines, I could be wrong, about the same sort of price I do believe uh, as the uh, as the Vapid Dominator. Okay, now since the Vigero, ladies and gentlemen, uh, no idea who makes it or how much it is, but it is actually a, uh, it is actually another, uh, another muscle car, ladies and gentlemen, I have a request of Mr. Mr. Raccoon, if you would be so kind, you know, to oblige me by bringing out some of his muscle cars. And he has done so on this occasion. Uh, is the uh, the the figure or the figure or something like that, ladies and gentlemen? Not entirely certain. Uh, and uh, yes, it's way behind us, as you can see. So yes, the Baffin Dominator stacking up against the other muscle cars, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, not too badly, you know. They're not too badly at all. But those are sort of the older muscle cars, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna move things on uh, and try it up against something uh, a little bit more interesting. Okey cokey. So here we go. Uh, speaking of old, actually, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the Vapid Hustler, don't you? Uh, and this really is an old vehicle, as you can see. Uh, and let's have a look how it goes. Yes, it's going into the distance, isn't it? Yes, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, they can sort of beat some of the older muscle cars, but apparently not some of the very, very old muscle cars. And that really is rather confusing. Okay, Vapid Dominator there, ladies and gentlemen, up against the Vapid, uh, the Vapid Hustler. And yes, there's no question which one's going to win that, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the Vapid Hustler. Okay, so yes, okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sort of, uh, sort of uh, getting an idea now for its, uh, for its placement, you know, but we're going to keep on going. We've got a couple more tests to do, uh, and so we're going to bring out, I didn't believe it's the Bravado Gauntlet uh, Hellfire, and yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. I should also point out, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, all of the other vehicles in these videos, you know, they are driven by Mr. Raccoon, you know, his name is the Bromby, he has a channel of his own, it is called the Bromby. Uh, if you type that into YouTube, you should be able to go and find him, why do you go do that? He's got some rather good videos on there, don't you know? Okay, so what do we see, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we don't see anything, really. We see the back of the uh, the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire as it disappears into the distance, and so now we're really getting a feel for the placement of the uh, of the Vapid Dominated GTX, ladies and gentlemen. It does really sit somewhere in the middle of the pack, and I do believe the price of the Gauntlet was $745,000, so they really are very much in the same price mark, but as you can see, there is a world of difference between uh, between the, the finishing line and the leaving, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, someone starts shooting us, and someone on the track and they start shooting us and so Mr. Raccoon decides he's going to hop out and try to shoot them back uh, and while he's doing that you know I think well I don't know I've been, been sniped while we're trying to while we're trying to uh, put some tests you know do some simple tests no need for that kind of business uh, and so I decide I'm going to phone Lamar don't you know this is something I've taken to doing just recently uh, just because it's such a petty thing to do and it amuses me uh, and so there we go I know the name of the gentleman who was harassing us and there we go I'd now call the mother on it okey cokey ladies and gentlemen uh, it's good, uh, you know it really shouldn't be Firing unless he had absolutely, absolutely unprovoked, and if he had a look there, yes, unfortunately, he jumped into a helicopter and there, the motor can't get to it. Oh well, never mind. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, we've seen it uh, up against uh, muscle cars, now we're going to have a look at a uh, look at the Vapid GTX, a Dominator GTX against real cars, ladies and gentlemen. As I say, uh, $725,000 for the GTX, $725,000 for the Pegasi Zentorno, and the Pegasi Zentorno is a tiny, tiny set of lights disappearing around the corner in the distance there, and that's, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, why you should uh, why you should buy, purchase the Pegasi Zentorno above the, uh, above the Vapid Dominator. Yeah. Okay, so 
so yes, ladies and gentlemen, not much of a surprise that really, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the, uh, the Pegasi Centorno, or Big Daddy Z, as Master, Mr. Raccoon likes to call it, really is a fantastic vehicle when he's uh, not blowing up planes, I'm sure he'll tell you such things, and it's absolutely demolished the, uh, demolished the, uh, what are the rapid dominator there. Okay, we're, we're swapping over cars, ladies and gentlemen, as we do, I get the, uh, the rather jolly good news, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, yes, my mocha finally put up with that gentleman and sold $10,000 off him. Okay, rather a harsh price, that, you know, but he was shooting at us for absolutely no reason, so in my opinion, he deserves it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on to the final masquerade. Uh, there is only one more question, that question is the Gorotti Italia GTO, and the answer, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be yes, of course, the Gorotti Italia GTO is going to be the Fabid Dom. If the Dominator couldn't take down the Zen Corner, it's not going to take down the GTO, and that's exactly what we're going to see here. So, okay, we've got a couple of, uh, we've got a sort of minute here now, I suppose, of just, uh, uh, just rambling, you know, and nothing to say other than what the inevitable is going to happen, so we may as well uh, give a review on the uh, Dominator, I suppose. What do we think of it? Uh, you know, for the for the buy it now price that I got for another well, well, the discount price of two hundred odd thousand dollars, very worth it. You know, seven hundred twenty-five thousand dollars when you could buy the uh, the Hellfire or the uh, Pegasi Zentorno, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, really? Why? I mean, why on earth would you buy this guy? You know, it's absolutely absolute waste of money unless you're going to put it in a collection. You know, go get the uh, the Gordon Sodding Raccoon. Right, okay, I should have expected that, I suppose, you know. Okay, now watch it, he's got, he's on his car and he's going on his way, and yes, bloody hell, right, he's got and killed himself. Okay.